IED Puzzle Cube Project, you are going to get a crash course on Inventor 101 and how to create your five Inventor part files and hopefully dimension Chaminade title block drawings and then export them into PDF format. So here we go. First thing you need to do is locate your IED folder and within that folder you created a puzzle cube folder. Here's mine. Hopefully you have your paint files in there, which is all good. Hopefully you know where it is. You have to know where it is. Next thing, have Inventor open. We need to create a project pathway because your teacher will not help you locate lost Inventor files in missing laptop world or missing Inventor world. So this create a, creates a project pathway to help yourself and your teacher Streamline all these files into one folder. So we need to create a new project pathway, new single user project, hit next. This project name is called Puzzle Cube. And then you click on this one, these three dots, you need to find that folder, your IED Puzzle Cube folder. So I think mine is in here. It's an IED. And then it is Puzzle Cube. Click that folder once, you hit OK. Basically, we're mapping this to my IED Puzzle Cube Unit, fo unit 4 folder, whatever you named it. Hit Next, hit Finish. You did it correctly. If there's a check mark next to Puzzle Cube, and you're correct, Puzzle Cube folder over here. And hit Done. New, Standard IPT. Make sure you click Standard IPT. We don't do sheet metal IPT, we do standard IPT. We're going to model all five of your parts in 3D using Inventor. Hopefully your parts are colored, glued in front of you. You identify the best front view with the longest dimension there, and it has the most features. So here we go. Plus sign next to origin so you know your planes. I like to create a 2D sketch. I like starting in the front, which is the XY plane. Your sketch tool we're going to use a lot is rectangle. And remember, the dimensions that we're going to use are 0.75, 1.5, or 2.25. For my blue piece, I have 1.5 in the X, tab, 0.75. We hit escape and do that again. You hit rectangle, you always have to anchor this at the origin, that yellow dot, 1.5 in the X, tab, 0.75. Hit enter, hit front, so you see where it is. Escape a couple times. I, you should be fully constrained. You can only do this when you're fully constrained. Or you must be fully constrained before you hit finish sketch. Hit the home button. I need to extrude this, not one inch, but this is two blocks. Minus two blocks, that is 1.50 inches. You hit OK. Now, for my puzzle piece, I need to create another sketch. I'm building this in layers using extrude adds on the top. You're on the top. This is the XZ plane. I'll show you another method. When you hit rectangle, I know my puzzle piece cube starts here. You could just draw a rectangle like that. Hit escape a couple times. You're going to see you need to do dimensions. You need to dimension this line is not that dimension. Mine is only one square, which is 0.75. Hit enter for the green check. I need to dimension the distance here to here. 0.75 is correct. Now I'm fully constrained. I need to finish sketch. I am going to extrude this guy up 1.5. Carry it over from the last one. The home button. That is my blue piece. You change the color. Just use blue wall paint glossy. Good time to save. It's in your puzzle cube folder automatically there. Blue piece or part. Just go part or piece. Last name. You can even call it blue piece. This is my six. These are six little guys. So that's one. 
Now, here's some Inventor 101. What happens if? Pretend you don't know where you are in space. You get lost. You don't know where you're at. Uh-oh, what side am I looking at? Hitting this home button gets you back to where you start. Uh-oh, this browser window over here is gone. To recover it, you hit view, user interface, browser. There it goes again. You lose it on accident, you misclick, view, user interface, browser. Ideally, you have all these checked at all times, except iLogic browser, so you can check that all the time. Sometimes your ribbons get minimized. This little arrow here gets you back to where you're at. So that's kind of inventor frequently asked questions 101. Well, my inventor doesn't look like the video students ask. Well, if you lose your ribbon, you get it back by hitting this up arrow here. I lost my browser. View user interface browser. You could also lose the navigation bar right here. Status bar. Yeah, as far as important. Okay, view user interface. Now, we take this to CCP title block world. New CCP title block. It should load. Hopefully in a quick fashion. Because remember, your teacher does not grade IPT files, but you need to finish the IPT correctly. in order to get to the CCP title block dimension .idw world. So remember, your name, first and last name, is one point off the scoring guide. Correct IED1 or IED5 is another point, first and last name here. We hit base. The front view, the front view goes here. We're gonna use one one scale. It's one, two, three, four left clicks, right click creates. And you can you can move this over. Right click, edit view, the ISO view. This is the only one in color. Another common question is if your top front right views are in color, to discolor them, you right click the front view because they control the top and right view. Edit view, you uncolor it. Clicking on that, I think. There you go. Remember, remember, you need four text boxes. That's under annotate text. This is the top. All caps is the most professional. This is the front. Each view is five points. Missing a text box forfeits one of your points. Right. This is ISO view. One to one scale. Blue. Remember, this is my puzzle cube. Your puzzle cube will be different. Different shapes, different colors. Now, I like to dimension using the suicide method. It's called baseline dimensioning. So in the X, do the full width. Uncheck that if you want. Dimension this guy, make it red. In the Y direction, there's a trick here called baseline dimensioning. Let's see if this works. Click. Click, right click, continue. It drags out. Left click to lock it in. Hit escape to, oop. Let's do it again. Baseline. I want that and that for my suicide lines or baseline dimensioning. Right click, continue. Lay it out there. Right click, create. So there's two ways to do your suicide lines. Now in the Z, Z dimension, I think I'll use the right side view because remember, this is kind of like writing a This is writing a paper for your language arts class or social studies class. You want it to look nice. You forfeit points if this falls outside the lines, if front overlaps, that's not good. If this view overlaps there, 
It needs to be readable because you're, because you're communicating information to your teacher or to anyone who wants to make this or grade this. So I believe this is fully dimensioned in the X, Y, and Z. You hit save. You want to save this in the same spot. Blue piece, last name. You're saving it in IEW world. Okay. If you think this is correct, you export this into PDF world. If your teacher grades dimension PDFs, your teacher does not grade IDW files. And when you upload this to your Project Lead the Way LMS page, you need to upload the PDF. We'll find out why later. Now let's try my second part. You're going to learn a couple more skills here. New IPT. I'm going to create a 2D sketch. Remember, I like sketching in the front. So let's use rectangle. Pretend you miss the origin, but you get the dimensions correct. 2.25, tab, 1.5, hit front. This is floating in space. It escaped a couple times. You need two dimensions. This is bad. You need to fully constrain it. There is a constraint here called geometric constraint called coincidence. Click on that. I want this corner of the rectangle coincident with the origin. It locks it in. It should turn all blue. You're fully constrained. You finish sketch. Hit the home button. I will extrude this. Remember, we don't use one or two. We either use 0 0.75, 1.5, or 2.25. I will extrude this 0.75. Your dimensions have to be correct in order for this to work. The home button. Maybe I'll save this now. Purple piece. This is a one, two, three, four. For you, for remember, it's good to put the number to maybe know what you're doing. It's five little guys, maybe your last name. Let's properly identify it. Um, let's see if there's purple here. Violet is a good one. Violet, okay. This is my violet. We've been extrude adding this whole time. I'm going to show you a way to extrude cut. So I want to create a 2D sketch because I need to remove one of the blocks from here and one of the blocks from here. So this is a way where I like to create it as a full block and then remove what's missing. Create a sketch on the front. Rectangle, I like to anchor it here. I'll just type it in straight away, 0 0.75, 0 0.75. Hit enter. It's blue. might be hard to see blue in the violet, but you can see it. Rectangle here, 0.75. Okay, I missed the dimension, but that's all right, because you can dimension from here to here. is not that number. It should be 0 0.75. Again, remember, this is your puzzle cube. Or this is my puzzle cube. Yours could be different, but the skills you are witnessing are the same. When you're fully constrained, you're off to hit finish sketch. Think one step at a time. I will extrude these two, but I don't want to add these blocks. I want to cut to next. And some of you might already have a Z piece if you do a piece with a four small design. This is how you do the four small, or if you have this piece. However, mine has a block right here. It's an extrude add. So you don't extrude right away. So the next step here is you create a sketch. Remember, you know the solution. You know your block. You know your piece where it needs to go. I'm sketching here. I sketch a rectangle for me. This is elementary. Finish sketch. I will extrude this single block, 0.75, that is correct, hit OK. Saving it is good. That is correct, you do a CC Pichaya block, first, last name, ID number, hit OK, it should load. Base, front, four left clicks, one right click, one, two, three, four, right click, create. Those are your four views. Then you need four text boxes and to properly dimension this for full 25 out of 25 point credit. That is under annotates.